How's it going guys? It is 4.05 a.m. 27th of April here in Japan. Past level question for pathology for step one, okay? This is the first time you're seeing this concept. You might think this is a little weird. It's not. This is going to be a hyper short YouTube clip. This is more factoidy. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. Really appreciate it. Give me a like. Really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram, melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to Telegram. Group and channel down below. Now start the clip. 37-year-old woman. Tender 4 millimeter nodule in her arm. Two months ago, she acquired sutures after cutting herself against her backyard fence while playing soccer with her son. Photomicrograph, a biopsy, the nodule shown. Question just simply wants to know which the following is most likely explanation uh, for this finding. And you look at the uh, light microscopy here. You say... No fucking idea what I'm looking at, all right? Well, I'll tell you, because this a nearly identical image shows up on the NBME exam, all right? So if you look at this image here, you look at my cursor, okay? Look at my cursor, and you can see there's this grayish-looking, more linear type of inclusion. You say, not really sure, all right? And then you've got these eosinophilic means pink, basophilic means purple, so you have this Large, eosino, in a large eosinophilic, what appears to be a nucleated, multinucleated giant cell, which is going to be epithelioid macrophages. Okay, so when we have a foreign body, macrophages will attempt to phagocytose it. Macrophages get activated and they are called histiocytes. Okay, and they can come together, coalesce and become multinucleated in what is referred to as a granuloma, chronic inflammation. Now, granulomas can be microscopic, such as in non-casating granulomas in pulmonary parenchyma, such as with sarcoidosis or in the GI tract with Crohn's disease, or they can be macroscopic, okay? So let's just whip through the answer choices here. Choice A, amyloid, wrong fucking answer. This is going to be on US simile, multiple myeloma, highest yield. So, in multiple myeloma, you have plasma cells secreting immunoglobulins, okay? IgG, kappa, lambda, light chains. Immunoglobulins are proteins. So proteins depositing where they shouldn't be depositing, that's amyloidosis. So multiple myeloma, highest yield cause for renal, cardiac, renal and cardiac amyloidosis. Renal amyloidosis, nephrotic syndrome, cardiac amyloidosis, going to be a, a type of diastolic dysfunction with an S4 heart sound. I've made prior clips on that. Amyloid, of course, can be seen in medullary thyroid carcinoma, where you have apple green biofringens with Congo red stain. Point is, wrong fucking answer. Choice B, granulation tissue, wrong fucking answer. This refers to tissue that is highly vascular, rich in type 3 collagen, fibrillar collagen, which is early wound healing. So you cut yourself and it's Pink for the first six to eight-ish weeks, high in type three collagens, vascular, that's granulation tissue, okay? And then it's going to become more white in color where type three collagen is replaced with type one collagen, which is type one stronger than type three. You're going to maximize at 80% of your original tensile strength. Point is, wrong fucking answer. Choice C, granuloma, correct answer. I mean, I already articulated this at the start of the clip, so, this is what's called a suture granuloma. Holy shit. Okay, I said it's factoidy, where you just need to know that sometimes suture material can get left over in the skin or even sometimes internally, and you're going to get a foreign body reaction around it where the immune system, macrophages, will attempt to phagocytose it and will just form a collection around it and it cannot be dissolved oftentimes. You have non-resorbable sutures as an example. So you have this nodule, this suture granuloma, it's asked on the NBME exam. So you just need to know it exists, okay? It's not dramatic, not complicated. You just need to know there is such thing as a suture granuloma. It's a diagnosis you need to be aware of. Real, real quick, neutrophilic infiltrate, wrong fucking answer. So neutrophils being the cell of acute inflammation where within the first three-ish days of an immune response, Neutrophils, okay? And then plasma cell infiltrate, wrong fucking answer. So plasma cells can come in with lymphocytes, more in chronic inflammation. So first three days, neutrophils, three to seven-ish days, macrophages, and then lymphocytes and plasma cells can infiltrate as well, okay? So you can just know that that's possible. I already mentioned stuff like multiple myeloma. That would be plasma cell infiltration of the bone marrow greater than 10%, all right? 
Wrong fucking answer. You know the deal to make more content if you like my stuff, subscribe my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.